All right, here we go. Lola just said that she made herself a mustache. Out of what? Apple. An apple mustache? Nice. I just sat down, but I realized I didn't pick out a toy of the day. Oh, yeah. Here, let's just start with three toys of the day. Yeah. Yeah. They are three identical, but in different colored. Um, I don't show up very well. Let's see. There they are. They are knights holding lanterns. And... Yeah, knights holding lanterns. Clearly it's, or not, I've not I wouldn't, no, they're Vikings. Those, I don't know, what do you think, Lola? I don't know. I think they're Vikings. I think they're weird. You think they're weird? Mm -hmm. Yes, they are. They're quite weird indeed. I don't know what, they must have came from a board game that I don't own. I just own those pieces to the board game. Hey, if, you're, if you have that board game and you're missing some pieces, give me a little bone jangle. All right, so yesterday I did um, uh, Diva the Bear and B and Beatrice is there getting ready for a date. And I thought that maybe today I should have, I thought I'd follow up and maybe actually have uh, Beatrice go on her date. And that she's going to have, <laughs> that's what I had to think of. So I was kicking around with just a couple ideas like five seconds ago as I was coming down here to do this. I was like, oh wait, I didn't think about who she's on a date with. Oh wait, I'll make a nice tablecloth. That'll be at a nice restaurant. A wasp. A wasp. I did. I made a decision, and I decided that it's going to be maybe a. Uh, it's going to be a snail, and because I think it'd be entertaining that the d the date's not going to go well. Yeah. I don't know. I got to be mean. Should be able to just let her find romance. But I also decided. She's not like spaghetti all over her shirt and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> like he accidentally bumped it over with a shell. And <laughs> I decided he's going to be obviously really slow. That's always the joke with the snail. And that he's also, I gave him a little mustache. I decided that I also want him to be a magician. So he's like the island magician. And the idea, you know, like usually like a magician has to have like quick like sleight of hand to trick people, mm -hmm. but he's just so slow that he's just like he's a bad magician. Yeah, just like the absolute worst magician. He's just got like some floppy white gloves on his hand. He doesn't wait. Because yeah, you know, he doesn't. He's got to have white magicians have to wear white gloves, but he's just kind of got like, hands? but he's got like blobby hands. Yeah, I'm gonna give him like just kind of like. Uh, Kind of like blobby hands, <laughs> you know, blobby hands, mm -hmm. you know, like blobby hands, and Stubby, just hands. a bow tie. Should he have a? Sh sh I almost feel like he doesn't need a shirt because his like shell is his body, like his yeah. clothes. And you're not gonna be able to see much of his snail shell here, but we'll just—it's inferred. Oh, I'm gonna give him kind of like just yeah, some lazy eyes. Cause he's just so slow. He's what should he be eating at this fancy restaurant? Like a uh, a salad. Cause I decided they're not gonna eat meat and stuff. She's eating pollen. She's eating pollen, and I'm eat, I'll make his whole like his bulb, his plate here, just completely full. Ah, no, let's make him having spaghetti. I'll make him having spaghetti. Because I want to make it look like he's got a full plate. I'll just catch that in later. It's like he hasn't like even, that. yeah, he hasn't even taken his first bite yet. And she, her plate is like totally empty. She's just got a fork and a knife. We don't even know what she ordered because she is just sitting here waiting for her date. The ma yeah, the magician. He yeah, is, actually start. Yeah, just even just get started. Put a candle. Oh wait, no. Nah. That's like me waiting for Oh yeah, she is the slow eater of the family. I'll put like one of these candle. You can see there's gonna be a little glow in it. I'll sort that out later. And then she's just gonna be like, I already made somebody kind of leaning on their chin. I'll make her like, I'll make her like checking her watch. Like, oh boy. I sacrifice my apple to the All right. So and she had a human hand already. So but she's not gonna wear rubber gloves. Should I give her like a prom glove? She still needs a glove, I think. But we'll put her in a nice dress. 
And she's yeah. just like waiting for this like nightmare to be over. Like, how did she get set up on this date? Whose fault is this? Was it a friend? She's really surprised. Was it a I mean, like a blind date? Yeah. Maybe she used some sort of app on the island. We'll say she used an app. And then we'll take her out of her sun hat, but we'll move the bow or the ribbon that's usually under her chin. We'll move that up to her hair. Yeah, look. Mm-hmm. Ooh, you got an apple mouth. <laughs> Very nice. Oh yeah, and she's still gonna have her earrings that look like beehives. All right, I'll sketch this in a little bit more, and then we'll uh, we'll go into we'll go down to Ink Town. All right, here we go. That's close enough. So I'm gonna make the snail. Oh, his name. He's a magician Escar snail. Escar, the great Escar Go. The waiter should have been named Escargo and be a snail. Oh, you Best think the waiter? opportunity. I know. Sometimes, this well. It's a fancy restaurant. So see, if only I, yeah, if only I took the time to uh, pre-plan these things, but I really don't. I just kind of wing it a little bit. <laughs> so I got these gloves kind of stretched over these like little kind of floppy, noodly fingers that you can tell are like not, don't have like fingers in them. He's just got like kind of glooped his hand in there just enough to kind of move him around. There we go. The Great Escargo. Pretty sure Escargo is snails, right? Yeah, it's snails. I'm pretty sure. It is. Okay, Google, what is Escargo? Is a dish consisting of, yep, yeah, cooked they edible and snails. Alright, Google is explaining it to us. She's going way more in depth than we needed. How do I look, Dad? Ooh, you look like Cousin It. You got all your hair pulled in front of your face. <gasps> I'm on the perfect way to make things. There we go. So the great, the great escargo. Good call, Lola. We will, we will run well, with that. You can't name that no. No. Only if How about? Waiter. Well, he's still a snail. All right, well, all right. We could call him. Well, he's like, you know, like a snail, like a spiral of a snail. We could call him like the Great Spyro. No, maybe him uh, a Okay. Yeah, Spyro's like the dragon. Do you know? Do you know Spyro the dragon? No. Yeah, that's probably fine. I'm not an old man. <laughs> You're not an old man. Or he's still got a full his drink is still full hers is gone I'm gonna make like the basket refill. the basket of uh, bread is over by Beatrice over here because she ate all the bread because she just got so bored. bored just sitting there that she ended up devouring a whole thing of bread like in her little kind of bored and sad state and he's gonna have still his full plate of food still with his uh his bread fully intact because he hasn't eaten any of it yet. Let's get our work out. Yeah. Got a little candle burning inside. A little. And he's gonna have his bun with like the little X on top of it. What kind of buns are those? Hot cross. Hot cross buns. Did you know that? Yeah. No. We buy them sometimes. No, we don't. Except for we gotta get stuff that's gluten free. If you can hear that crunching noise in the background, it's Lola annoyingly rolling around on the exercise ball. It's for your listening pleasure. This ASMR. It's it's the exercise ball. No, there the we ASMR. go. And here's Beatrice. She's just like ugh. All right, this guy is need to hurry up because I need to get home. She's like, it's almost midnight. Yeah, she's like, I gotta get up and do my garden. Do work on my Yeah, like I wish I was with my garden right now. Gossiping with my girls. Yeah. And then probably when she showed up too, she was probably looking around and spotted some other little like local gossip too that was like 
spotted her like, oh, look at Beatrice. What's she doing here? And Beatrice is like, oh, 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 nothing, 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 nothing. And then he kind of slid over, ready for our date? I can show you a magic trick. It's how I'll make you fall in love with me. <laughs> Yeah, it was bad. Um, yeah, bad pickup line. Yeah. Oh, there's probably a really good pickup line I can't think of, like a magician one. How do I look dead? Which is probably good that I don't know any magician pickup lines. Exactly. It's probably That's better. What I was about to say. Yeah, it's it's probably it's probably for the best. Any magicians out there? You guys know any good magician pickup lines? You just. Leave it in the comments below. Like, share, and subscribe, and all the things that things on YouTube people say. How do I look? Very nice. Straight out of the 80s. Hey, that's not what I was going for. Oh, well, that's what you got. <laughs> no. So she's got her hair pulled back. She's not. Does she look like me? Mm. Does she look like you? Do you look yeah. like a giant bee? Yeah. All right, yes. Where's her wings? Wings are overrated for bees. Design fail. She's got wings. Design fail. Don't worry. Design fail. They're right Design here. Design fail. They're right here. Design fail. No, they're there. Design I totally fail. was going to put them in there. Mm -hmm. Design fail. There we go. Doo -ba -doo -doo. And it's one of those like nice Italian joints that's got all the... All the nice frame pictures of... What about all the silverware? Yeah. I've got it covered. Italian? I thought this wasn't French. French? No, it's Italian. They, he's eating spaghetti. Yeah, She's French. eating mystery food. And then there's this very annoyed looking... Waiter, waiter right here. Just like... Huh, huh, huh. This dude's taken like an hour and hasn't even taken a bite. Yeah. He's like also checking his watch, like chip chop chip, dude. Like, pardon me, sir, but could you hurry it along? We all have lives to live and I intend to live it, is what snooty, snooty rat waiter guy would say. Is it rat or? Garçon, they said, garçon. No, that would be French again, wouldn't it? Just There later. we go. <laughs> and he's standing here because he's going to stand here since they're, they're like closing up and he's holding the bill because it says bill right on it. That's how bills, totally That's how bills work. And he's wearing a cummerbund. He's all dressed up. And he is ready to call this a day. All right, I'll finish inking the rest of this in and then we'll go into turbo paint mode. Away! There it is. Oh man, what a miserable time. I feel so bad for Beatrice. This is like her first big night out and it's turned out to be a huge dud. And I'm just hoping that uh, the great escargo isn't gonna like offer to walk her home afterwards because otherwise she's not gonna get home until morning. And she just looks so miserable. But she got a free meal. She ate a, like a loaf of bread. Then she's going to go home, eat a pint of ice cream, fall asleep reading a gardening magazine. And, you know, I kind of feel bad for uh, the great escargot, too, because he just seems so clueless. And it's hard to tell if he's just having a miserable time or if he just looks tired, too. And he's waiting here with the bill because they're closing up. I made this just kind of generic looking, maybe like a worm guy or something. I don't know, just kind of plain guy. Like, he's turning the chairs up. The restaurant's ready to close down. Just everybody go home. So hopefully you guys are home too. Have a good day. Hopefully you're having a better day and a better night than Beatrice had on this night. But we'll, we'll make it up to her at some point. I'm going to be nicer to her next time. 
So, all right, guys. Have a good day. Bye.